Aloha. Aloha, Kayla and Carly here. Welcome back to our channel, Pleasing Nature Works, where we have fun with art. If you're new here, thanks for checking out our content. And if you've come back for more, we love having you here. Today we're getting back into digital art with a challenge I'm sure many have done in the past, including the ancient Greeks, but it's new to us. We're going to make our own version of chimeras, aka mixed up and mashed up animals. In order to do this, we're using a handy dandy spinner wheel. All right, Carly, you're going first this time around, so. Oh, yay. You ready to do this? Sure. Let's spin. Okay, let's see your first animal. Snake. <laughs> yay, okay. You got a snake. All right. I'm huff a puff myself, but okay. <laughs> All right. Ready to do this again? <laughs> Please, no rat. We won't Please, know. no rat. <laughs> oh! What? <laughs> oh, dear. A snake and an octopus. This is going to look really interesting. Yeah, this is going to be weird. <laughs> this is going to be weird. There are so many different ways <laughs> you can do this. I'm I know. Excited. That's going to be awesome. Oh, I got... Wow, okay. <laughs> you got to look at references for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be interesting. All right. Oh, okay. I can see right off the bat you chose a cobra. Yep, yep. That's funny because in my head I was like, you know, cobra would be an interesting <laughs> snake because it has a different head when it's alert. This was definitely a challenge, trying to figure out how I could do this in a different way. The snake and an octopus, I mean, they're both kind of tentacle-like. <laughs> they both have, yeah, they both have long, skinny parts of them on their bodies. Yeah, so it, it was, a. Uh, it's interesting. I do definitely see the direction you're going here, and they're both represented. <laughs> I'm tempted to count the legs. Oh, you can. <laughs> you can. Yep, you got eight legs. That's yep, good. Yep, I got eight legs. <laughs> if you can really call them legs. Well, they act as legs. Kind of. Kind of. Wait, for a second it looked like he was holding a coffee cup. Is he holding a coffee cup? Is he literally holding a coffee cup? I didn't I I didn't end up keeping that. Okay. <laughs> that would have been kinda of cool. Definitely would have been a character. Yeah. Um, I like the way that um the tentacle legs are sprawled over like sprawled all out like it's moving in the water or on land <laughs> <laughs> you see we're changing the shape of the head a little bit yeah i looked at uh, i looked at some other pictures oh different references yeah i decided to change it ah uh, you made it like a little bigger with the, the body be of an octopus, and especially the ones I was going off of being bigger, I decided to make, yeah, I decided to make the head bigger. <laughs> I look so angry. <laughs> it's a snake. That's true. It's like it was disturbing me. I mean, I definitely looked at a lot of pictures of snakes, but, and there are some cute ones. I was just having problems with that. I yeah, think. I... Finding a snake that I wanted to do that didn't look angry yeah. was difficult. I'm sure. They're not exactly the most cuddly <laughs> And then you've got an octopus. Yeah. They're not cuddly. Not really. They ain't cuddly. <laughs> At least nothing that I've seen. <laughs> it's an octopus. <laughs> it wants to be in the water and left alone. <laughs> They are incredibly intelligent, though. Oh, well, yeah. Mm. 
Well, I didn't say it wasn't. No, I was just ta- we're talking about octo. <laughs> Octopi? I, I'm not sure what the plural of that is. I have no idea. I was just saying the little bit of knowledge that I know about them. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just happy I remembered to make sure it had eight legs. Yeah, that would have been <laughs> funny, but then you could chalk it up to because it's a hybrid. Yeah. Although, seriously, how would that kind of hybrid even, like, it wouldn't happen? <laughs> I don't know. Only in the I magic mean, world. How do any of these hybrids happen, really? <laughs> <laughs> it would have to be in some sort of alternate universe or magical realm. <laughs> yeah. I see that you did, like, a combination of their um, skin tones. Yeah, I, th- I thought that was the best. Makes sense. Ooh, I like that purple. Yeah, I, I I was looking at two different octopus. Uh, I, I really <laughs> no, it sounds. I weird. don't know how to. Say we're it. we're gonna have to look that one up later. Yeah. Um. And one was red, and one had like a purple color. So I was just like, I'm just gonna mix these. Nice. And then the snake I was going off of was like tan with darker brown, and I was like, Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we're just gonna do this. <laughs> so far, it looks like you blended the colors well together. Thanks. Because uh, you started off with a like a maroony red, like a Gryffindor red. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm a little confused on the background <laughs> on what's going on at the moment, but I'm sure yeah. it'll make more sense later. There was a lot of loading during this, and it took like, I don't know, 30 minutes background all to go, and I was like, ugh, this really bit into my time frame here. Yeah, I, I get that. Backgrounds and critter. For some reason, they take a while to load. And anytime you get into those larger brush strokes, yeah, it's like, no, we don't know what to do. Yeah, are we in like a desert scene? <laughs> you will are... see. Okay, all right. <laughs> At the moment, it could be either one. Honestly. <laughs> Yeah, it's still unclear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is taking too long. It's an ocean. Oh, okay. I okay. decided that it could do both. Oh, so it can, it's like a frog. It can go... Yeah, a little bit. Water, or like a turtle. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I just decided oh, it could oh, do both. Oh, so this is like sand. Sand, and, and yeah. Then, okay. The um, Kind of like my last painting. Oh, that's cool. It's like go- getting out of the water. Yeah. Okay. That makes so much more. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It makes sense now. <laughs> yeah, you, but that was taking too long. <laughs> when you added the white spray, it was like instantly I could tell what was going on. Well, that's good. I'm terrified of this creature, by the way. <laughs> it looks like it's ready to attack me. I know. It's like coming at me. And I can't get on, off the beach fast enough. <laughs> I know. And it can go on land and follow you. That's terrible. <laughs> I didn't know how to make this creature cute, okay? <laughs> hey, there was, there was nothing saying they had to be cute. I know. But seriously, just, guys, if you decide to do this, like, challenge sort of thing, let me know how you did it, because yeah, I was struggling. Down in the comments, down in the comments we'd, we'd love to hear if you guys did this challenge. Oh, yeah. And I'd love to hear how you guys did it, because I was struggling, man. <laughs> I think it looks really good, though, so far. It's definitely Thanks. a clear combination between the two. I can sort of imagine that it does a combination of, like, small jumps and, like, slithering its legs, like, flopping around (laughs) on the sand to get around. Which might make it look a tiny bit less scary, but then again, uh, it wouldn't do a whole lot, because 
frankly, is a bit menacing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a snake and an octopus. I mean, if you're in the ocean and an octopus comes up to you, you're going to be like, what? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh. Already you're going to be like, No, thank uh, you. You're e- e- I don't know about this. Though, I mean, honestly, it could just be in like, hey. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah. It's nice to see you. But no, if I'm in the ocean, like, snorkeling or something, and an octopus comes up to me, I'm gonna be like, okay, <laughs> I'm, uh, gonna go <laughs> over there. <laughs> Let me just get to a more shallow part here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, can you, you know, there's snakes that actually, like, swim. Can you imagine? Ugh. No. I, I, no, thank you. That's terrible. I mean... I've seen some pictures doing this challenge of cute snakes, but... Oh, I'm sure they exist. Oh, yeah. But, I, I, no, thank you. No, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I, I, again, I would not be able to get out of the water and off the beach fast enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it would take me a long time to go back. <laughs> I really like how you've uh, combined the scales with the in the creature. At first, I thought you were... When you started out on the tentacles, I was like, oh yeah, that's like an octopus texture. But I really, when you zoomed in, I can really see that it's, it yeah. looks like scales. Well, I use the scale tool, so I, I wanted to do, you know, with the head of the snake and then the octopus body, I was like, there's just not enough snake here. Let's do some scales. Oh, that makes sense. Especially with the, the sucking part on the octopus, I didn't think that would the be... sucking part? The, the suction, like, cup things on the oh, octopus the, oh, legs. Yeah. <laughs> the, t- the... Gosh, what are they called? I don't know. <laughs> Why am I just blinking? We sound so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that would be so cool for walking on, like, yeah, land. That would, so that would I was just like, you're just going to have place. scales. Yeah. So. That, that makes sense. That, that definitely makes sense. Yeah. Well, that one's mine. It looks menacing. I like it. <laughs> that front tentacle almost looks like it's going to smack you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, the one on the right looks like, yeah, it's, uh, it, they're all, they're all coming at me. Except for the ones in the back still in the water. It's a little bit of saving grace there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, I would be terrified if it got out of the water the rest of the way. All of them were curled up like that. I would be like, oh, no. it's just going to jump at me and wrap all around me and I'm definitely going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, though. Hmm. How big is this? Like, is it like a tiny little guy? No, oh, it's big. It's big. Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so gone. It looks really good, though. I'm, I really like it. Oh, it's thanks. definitely a successful combination of the two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I first got it, I was like, I had an image in my head, and I was like, okay, well, I don't really know any other way of doing this, so I'll just do that. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. Definitely makes sense. What do you call this, by the way? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> an octonake? <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds menacing. <laughs> yeah, I think that works. <laughs> an octonake. An octonake. Okay, sis, it's your turn. Yay! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, dear. Of course. Oh, yes! I love owls. Yes, yes, yes. I was a little worried it was going to go on octopus. Yeah. (laughs) I was like, no, we can't have the same. Well, as long as we didn't get exactly the same, it'd still be different. That's true. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so weird. <laughs> an owl and an elephant. Yes, this is definitely gonna be interesting. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how you do this. Yeah, for sure. I better jump in. Yep. So I went back and forth quite a bit on how I wanted to do this. Well, of course. It's a very weird one. Wo- Whoa, what? It took me a long time to figure out which animal I wanted the basic form to be in. 
And nice as, feet. Yeah, as you can see, I was like, uh, I'll do an owl. That's going to be more interesting. Specifically a horned owl. Because okay. I just liked the way that they were a little bit grumpy looking. And it reminded <laughs> me of the owls in oh both my. Bambi and in um, Sleeping Beauty. You know, the, the oh, you that... love the owl in Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. The one that ends up wearing Prince yeah. Philippe's clothes. Oh. So I was like, yep, it's yeah, got to be a horned owl. One. It's got to be a horned owl. And uh, from there, I was just like, okay, now I have to figure out what elements are going to be elfin-like. <laughs> And I was like, absolutely must have the ears. Well, yeah. I mean, it's like one of the biggest things. Yeah. I like how you did the tusks. Thanks. That's cool. It reminds me a I'm glad you added them. It reminds me a little bit of like a woolly mammoth. Yeah. <laughs> Ice Age. A little bit of that coming through. <laughs> a little bit. But those are some really like sharp talons, man. That's the kind of stuff that the great horned owls have. Wow. They are intense. It looks like it's holding its um arms behind its back. <laughs> like it's a it's a it's having a stern conversation like, with someone. Why, why are you interrupting my eating session? Back away now before it gets ugly. <laughs> See, I'm holding my hands behind my back. I do not want to fight right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's got food. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> see? Yeah. It definitely has food. And uh, this is a little nerdy <laughs> reference to um, the Jungle Book. Because uh, the cartoon, the oh, Disney yeah, cartoon. yeah. The elephants have their bamboo shoots. <laughs> Yeah, and they do. The, there's that one like kernel elephant. And it used, they use their shoots like a hand in that. Yeah. yeah. I was just so, about to say it looked like a hand holding it too. Yeah. That's cool. And uh, yeah, because elephants really do use their, their yeah, trunk. I know. It's very it's so cool. malleable and multifunctional. But Quite I was useful. like, this is a way to answer the question of what they eat too. Because... Uh, I believe elephants are herbivores. I could be very wrong on that, but I believe they are. And I, think I know so. that owls uh, hunt mice and little little guys. And I was like, well, let's just add another element of elephant in there. And as a vegan myself, let's make this this creature an herbivore. That makes sense. With yeah. the trunk instead of the beak, I mean. Yeah, it would be. I mean, you know, their mouth is underneath the trunk. I know. <laughs> but, like, it would be a bit harder. Like, it would be, yeah. <laughs> it would be, I mean, the talons would work, but it would be a it'd still be harder. That would be a terrifying but entertaining <laughs> experience to see. <laughs> yeah, it would. But this guy doesn't do that. He just eats the, eats the vegetation around cool i like how you're doing the eyes i i was gonna do the eyes on my snake but i ran out of time <laughs> oh okay <laughs> once i got look... done adding the scaling i was like oh it didn't really look like yeah. they were undone it just looked like like they had jet black eyes yeah it works but i like yours they're cool they're definitely owl eyes yeah they're definitely like a little bit glowy so that's cool the um, horned owl, they have very, like, bright, startling yellow eyes. And I was like, I think that'd probably be easier to understand visually than the elephant eyes on this. Also, like, the position. Yeah, the position the, would be pretty yeah, hard on would, an owl head. <laughs> that would be a little creepy, honestly. I was really yeah. dancing between... Trying to make this look like an actual animal and not making it look too creepy. I was afraid it was going to look scary. <laughs> it really was. Well, mine did. So so how yeah. big is this one? This one is the size of an elephant. <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. It's a big guy. So, okay. 
Imagine the wingspan on that. Oh one. dear! It would have to have a huge wingspan, huge, especially to compensate huge. with those ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm just imagining it flying with the the the, the trunk <laughs> just hanging <Yeah>. down. <laughs> Ears would act like, you know, a little bit of, uh, what do you call it, a little bit of force against it trying to move around. So Unless it can move them like flapping too. <laughs> <laughs> like Dumbo? Yeah. <laughs> like Dumbo. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is an interesting creature indeed. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's got to be one of the best parts of this challenge. Well, it definitely... Just thinking about how these creatures move and live. And... Yeah, it, 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 it will take you out of your comfort zone and be like, do this. Okay. Well, it definitely did. Yeah. I have to say, I would not want to see one of these in real life. I would be... In... Uh, no. I would have a new phobia. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. Just like with your octa snake. Well, that one makes your phobia stronger. That's true. This uh, owlophant. Owlophant? Uh, nice. Owlophant nice. would be a confusing sight, <laughs> to say the least. To say the least, I mean, you'd definitely be happy that it, it won't eat a human. Yeah, it would Because it's big enough to. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think I, it would be one of those uh, creatures that you stumble upon and you're terrified of until you find out that it just eats leaves and stuff. And then you'd be like, wow, that is one majestic creature. <laughs> I'd still be terrified. You'd still be terrified. Just because I really wouldn't want it to fall on me. You wouldn't want to anger it, that's for sure. Oh, like yeah, that tusks. too. I mean, the tusks, the claws. That's, yeah. I mean, that with the wingspan, they could probably pick you up and carry it. Oh, carry certainly. You. What, what, what branch is going to be able to hold it, though? Oh, it doesn't, it, it's not It a, lands on the ground? Okay. It's a mainly land-based creature, at okay. least in my brain. It just flies like, to yeah, get to the it, high. It is the size of an elephant, so <laughs> I don't think... There would be any tree that could really hold it. it. Yeah, it might hover to get higher up foliage that a giraffe could get. Nice. But um, it's it's not a, a boreal tree-dwelling creature. <laughs> it's land-based like an elephant, which is another way that I was just trying to really meld the two. Yeah. I didn't want it to be too much owl. Makes sense. I mean, it got the body of the... Owl. With the tusks and the ears and the tail. Yeah, but did you notice that the tail uh, has feathers instead yeah. of hair? Yeah. <laughs> I went back and forth on that one quite a bit. Because I was like, mm, I don't want it to be too owly, but I also want it to make sense. Yeah, feathers makes the most sense. If this animal could make sense. <laughs> saying I didn't make a good animal. No, I'm saying you made a great animal. Just not in our world. No, not in our <laughs> world. And I, I, frankly, I wouldn't want to see my animal in oh, our world either. Heck no. I mean, that the, um, that one could eat a human. Yeah. I didn't make yeah. mine a vegetarian. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even talk about that. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it worse. <laughs> you did a very good job at, at uh, combining those two <laughs> so did you this looks really cool thanks i am getting where mom said grumpy old man <laughs> <laughs> it does have that quality too a for little sure. bit <laughs> also the white feathers underneath this trunk kind of look like a beard yeah if i were to do this again I would probably darken those up again a bit. The reference had like white under there, uh, so I was trying to make it. As, well, it doesn't you know, look bad. It to... just yeah, adds to the grumpy man. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make it as true to the horned owls as, as I could, but uh, it does make it a little hard to see what's going on there. So I would probably darken that up if I were to do one more thing. Kind of like how you, if you were to had more time, you would have done the eyes.
I think I probably would have given mine snake eyes. Okay, well, we have our new creatures. We definitely do, and they are definitely interesting. <laughs> and awesome in their own way. Yeah, I think yours is really cute. Mine turned out kind of terrifying. Definitely terrifying, but <laughs> definitely an awesome combination of your two animals. Let us know if you guys got these animals, if you did the challenge in the comments, or just generally what you thought of these two creatures. Uh, and uh, if you're interested in us doing this again. Yeah, because we probably will. <laughs> we, 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 did, we had a lot of fun with this one. Yes, we did. Again, if you liked this video, please click that like button. And maybe subscribe. Yes, that would be awesome. Okay. Um, all right. Well, see you in the next video. See you guys in the next video.